one. Hi everybody. Today is what the eighth, honey? Is it the eighth? Today's the eighth. And it's a nice, beautiful, warm day today. I'm not sure exactly how warm, but we're gonna be doing the stabilizing um, pieces of wood in between all of the joists down the center. Center braces. Center braces. We're gonna be doing center braces and then coming back and putting in the hurricane straps on the outside going all the way down. So I think that's what yeah. what? Chop chop. Oh, he wants me to tell you that in order to make the stabilizing braces, we have to chop them on the chop saw. So he set that all up over there. So one of us is going to hammer, the other one's going to chop, and we're going to go all the way down the middle, and then hopefully get all this done. In between, I'm going to try to get my laundry done on a nice clean day. John had to take out all of the frozen ice on the tubing, on the hosing going to my washer so that I can... As opposed to the unfrozen ice. Unfrozen? Yeah. The unthawed? The unthawed ice. The unthawed ice that was still in the lines? Yep. So, I'm going to be able to do laundry! Yay! Yep. Tomorrow, we're going to start much earlier on work. I had to go get new glasses today. It's awesome. All right. Have a good one. I have to go to work. Bye.
Okay, just continuing on with the project, just wanted to show you what the uh, final product looked like after putting the, um, the center boards in for bracing and basically to uh, align any bowed boards or anything like that. So um, I currently have basically a string line coming out from the edge of the board here. That's the scrap. Uh, just grab this one here. Okay. Oh, that's a little bit thick. Hold on. Grab another one. Okay. So as you can see right here, this is the edge string line. And what we do is basically come down here, wanted to make sure the end board is right at 30 feet. Measured it down here. That was right on around the edge, and that goes right underneath. This is the edge that we're looking at right at the edge there. So measuring from this spot here all the way down to the other end down there, it was right at 30 feet. Same thing here. So let's take a look. That is straight on the end. All these boards should look pretty straight instead of being bowed out. Looks good. Good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Slight tiny bit out, but still okay. Compared to what some of these were before, look like a twisted sister. Alright, there's another one. There. 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 A little bit bowed right here in the front. Right there. And then the end beam is matching up right with the edges of the, the beam itself. See right there. Center beam. There, end beam. Right there. So there you have it. So what I need to do now, next step is go through and put these uh, little hurricane straps right here. That needs to be uh, applied to each beam on the ends all the way through. That way we lock the uh, joists to the main beam. The main beam is locking down to the ground with these straps right here into the concrete. So we've got uh, 26 of these to do across here to the end. 26 on the other side going back the other way. So our heating air guy came over. Um, that's uh, Kurt, Kurt uh, he came over and brought us 50 feet of three quarter inch um, copper. It's about $125 and that's basically running right down here to the uh, coming out of the ground right there. So right at this uh, center point here of this block is going to be one of the walls and our uh, uh, toilet is going to be in this area here, our hot water heater is going to be up here in the air, and then our um, propane heater, supplemental heater, is going to be across the wall over here um, on, uh, on this side of the wall here. So this line, uh, this line will actually feed both spots. So we'll do black piping and stuff in the wall, and then we'll tie in underneath with uh, copper down here. Okay. That's the other piece we did today. And some of you all have asked, you know, how in the world do you do all this stuff? Uh, you know, where do you get all the money to do all these things? Like the, uh, the, 
the uh, copper uh, piping and stuff that we got today. Um, that came in from uh, um, from uh, Kurt. We have a trade arrangement and stuff going on. He needs help with uh, web stuff and some advertising and uh, citation writing and different things like that. So we're doing a trade on that. Uh, we just try to keep our uh, trade where you know nobody owes anybody more than about $500 at any given time, and works out pretty good.